The Eve app is one of the best apps out there to use as a tool for your Apple Home. The app is made by Eve Systems. It lets you run more advanced automation by using conditions and more. If you never heard of Eve, they have a huge catalog of devices like the Eve Flare back there. These devices work specifically with Apple Home and they're big on privacy. Eve is also one of the first companies to release Matter Over Thread smart home devices. The Eve app is free and it's the only app that I know that can easily show you your thread network in Apple Home. I'm making this video to show you a simple automation using the Eve app timer feature. For example, there are times where I want to turn on a smart plug, but only for three hours and then to turn off for two hours. But I don't want it to just turn off once and be done. I want a continuous cycle of this running 24 seven. HomeKit doesn't make this easy. And honestly, I don't even know if it's possible through the Apple Home app. You might be wondering, why do you even need this? Well, I wanted to turn off those fragrant plugs that you can have running 24 seven. I didn't want to create multiple automation throughout the day. So I thought of this solution. If you have any ideas how to use this timer feature on any other uh, situations that you have going on, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know any ideas of other things that you could use this feature for. But for now, this is kind of like the only thing I can think of. So let me show you how useful it is. All right. So first we're going to head into the Eve app, which is this one right here. We're going to click there and here's the main page for it. We're going to go to automation and I actually already created two scenes. It's pretty simple. I don't really have to explain much, but you just have to create one that says turn on the specific plug that you're going to turn on and another one to turn off. So you just, all you have to do is just add a scene. You look up for the plug in your um, room and then you pick whatever it's going to do if it's turning on or turning off. So first we're going to hit timer. And then we're going to have the first timer. So let's just say we're starting this tomorrow at six in the morning, just to make it simple. This is very important. So you do repeating, you're going to do hourly. So I want to do this every three hours. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to three, three hours. And then we are starting at six in the morning, just to make this super simple. So, six in the morning, we are going to turn on the plug. It's going to go all the way down here and we're going to turn on and then just call it, I don't know, three hour and you're done. Now the second timer is that I want the plug to be off for two hours. So we're going to go back in, but instead it's going to be because the timer is going to be two, uh, three hours. We're going to go to nine in the morning. That's how long it's going to be on for. So nine in the morning, we are going to repeat this for two hours. So I want the plug to be off for two hours and then I want it to turn back on and then last three hours. So we're going to do this like that. So it's going to be from six to nine. It's going to be three hours. And then we are going to um, turn off. I mean, um, yeah, we're going to turn it off. So we're going to go next, turn off, and then there you go. So now we want to make sure that the turn on plug actually runs and there's no overlap or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to do another turn on. So this one is going to be at 11 in the morning. Again, repeating hourly every three hours. And it's going to be at 11 AM. So those are the three times and we are going to turn on no overlapping, no overlap. And that's it. Right now that plug is going to turn on at six in the morning. It's going to last until nine 
which is going to turn off for two hours, which would therefore turn on back on again for three hours at 11. And that cycle is going to continue and it's going to be running every single day until you cancel the timer. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. I'm trying to show more automations or features that we probably forgotten, like the timer feature. And if you like this, like and subscribe. And if you don't, hit the thumb down and let me know in the comments down below what you like to see. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.